Friends, we're going to make a fantastic keychain in just a few minutes using Canva and Tinkercad. So let's get cracking. We are going to start with Canva. I like to use Sign In with Google. We're going to create a new 3D design, and I like the Instagram square post. We're simply going to move to text and add a text box. All right, so first just type in your words. I'm going to type in Mount Pisgah. Then I'm going to go to fonts. So, of course, you can check the different categories. Like, I'm going to go to handwriting, and you can find one that you think looks pretty cool. I want one that is a little thicker. These are thin lines, so that could be a problem when you're trying to 3D print it. The nice thing is there are so many to choose from. You can also search for fonts. Notice you can just type these in, and I know I want one called Genty, and I want this one right here. That is a really cool text for making a connected keychain. Now it's time to take it to Tinkercad. You could do file, save. I like to use my screen capture tool because I've got it on a shortcut key and then I can almost instantly export it for use in our project. Snagit makes it so easy to just do next, 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 and it's in my downloads and ready for the next step in our project. We are going to use a website, pick SVG for step two. It is absolutely free. It's called PickSVG.com. We can upload that picture from our downloads. It is right there. Tell it open, and it automatically does an edge of it. I don't want the edge, though. I want the internal version. Notice this is all filled in, and we can instantly hit Download SVG. I'm going to just store that with a wacky name in the folder because I don't really need that file after this project. Now, friends, we can return to Tinkercad. We are going to choose Create New 3D Design. I always like to start by naming it. This is going to be called Keychain Mount Pesca. Now it is time to snag the file. We're going to do that with the Import tool. Simply click Choose a File. And remember, mine had that funny name, and I just stuck it in Downloads. We do only want the art. I like to keep my keychains about 70 or 75 millimeters in width. And then we can hit Import. It takes a moment for it to show up, and then bingo, we can start building. So our text is really sweet, but watch this. If we do Control D, we can switch this to a fill mode of outer line. You can pick a different size. All right, now it's got five, which I'm actually going to stay with, but I'm going to switch to a round outline. Notice that curves it a little bit after a second, and it's a little chunky, but I'm going to switch it to higher quality. And if we look at the total measurement, see how this is 25? That is one of the sizes I like, but it did make it 25 by 85. We'll fix that in just a few minutes. I'm gonna pick a fun color. I'm gonna print this with blue. Instead of the preset blue, I'm gonna go custom. Notice you can drag it wherever you want and just find a color that you think looks cool to you. I'm also gonna change the thickness to 1.5 millimeters. I like that for my keychains. It's reasonably strong, but it prints a little quicker. Now we do need to fill this area in. I'm gonna show you two ways. If we do Control D, we can switch to Silhouette, and after a moment, it'll fill in the Silhouette. It fills in all that area. You can build your keychain just like this. I have found most times when I print that those don't even show up. If you don't want those there, let me show you a different strategy. I'm going to bring out a simple cube. I'm going to set it to 1.5 millimeters thick. I'm going to drag it into location so it fills all the areas. Let's switch our nudge to something a little smaller so we can be more precise if you use the black handle it only changes one direction at a time. I don't want to run into this area, so I'm simply going to go there and there, and then I'm going to make another copy for the other spots. Once again, Control D makes a duplicate. I can drag that out and get it to where it needs to be, and then I'm going to do Control D. If you ever make a mistake, do Control Z. And I'm going to move this one down and just shrink it so it fills in that last chunk. Once you've got them all put together, those four shapes, if I simply group them, after a moment you will have the nice background. Notice if you miss, that's where you can see it because there was that little gap 
up there on the corner of the keychain. I just double clicked so I could edit it and bingo, that's what we expected. Now I wanna put my words up on top. We're gonna to do that with the cruising tool. If you click it and press C, it cruises right on top. If you select the two, you can do L for a line. You can get it right to the middle and right to the middle. Now that's our keychain. I'm gonna change the height of this to one. So that's how high it'll be above it when it prints the second words. I'm gonna leave these as two pieces and I'll show you why when we get to Bamboo Studio. I do wanna add a keychain hole and I'm gonna show you this too. Now that we've got it built, we can have fun shrinking it and it doesn't have to stay exactly as we measured it. It still looks really cool. So it's got the same kind of areas we need, but I wanna nudge this over so I have room to put a hole in it. I'm gonna do the hole out here, I'm putting it on the work plane, sliding the sides to the max, and then I'm gonna shift squeeze it, and I like to make the holes size five and press enter. I'm gonna bring this into place, making sure that it has some room over here, and I'm gonna select the two and do control G to group. It'll be a little bit under that M, but if I cared, I could just nudge the M over, or I could not, that's up to me. Now I'm gonna export these as two pieces. This will be the base, STL. I'm gonna change that to the word base. Now I'm gonna only select the words and export those. Notice it says selected shape and this will be words. With that completed, let's head to Bamboo Studio. All right, so this is what's so magic about these printers is just how easy it is. Tons of settings you can mess with, but I'm gonna show you that you really don't have to. If we hit add, it's already looking where I always put them. And I'm going to grab both of those at one time, tell it open, and I'm going to load them as a single object, multiple parts. It instantly plops them in and we're ready for 3D printing, but we do want to change the colors. I'm going to do that by going to object mode. And I just want to show you this. We could use the paint tool, which is right over here and we could just paint this top edge. But I don't want that because the edges don't print. So this is much faster if I go over here and I say I want the words to be orange and I want the base to be blue. That way I was able to do it in just one step. I do wanna highlight that right now this keychain would use a prime tower. This is how you get a good switch between colors. Because of the way I designed this where it stops right at a layer, we don't need that so this will be even faster. Simply return to global, move out to the others tab, and we just want to disable the prime tower. That way it will not build this, and then when we're done, you'll be able to see just how well it turned out. We can now simply slice the plate, don't forget they've always got these cool tips. First, that was a good slice. Do check these out though. They always share cool things. And it's just one more reason why it's so much fun working with the Bamboo Labs P1S. Finally, let's hit print plate. Now do note this, it does not know where the blue is. It thinks it's in A3, but it is really a generic that's in A1. A2 is the orange, that's fine. I do want bed leveling, the AMS, and time lapse. Finally, friends, let's send it to the 3D printer. And 15 minutes later, an epic keychain. <laughs> How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad. Below that, you'll find tons of amazing categories. Also, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. This video will teach you all about it. And of course, there's a sweet coupon code that'll get you 25% off any of the amazing courses on the site. Of course, you can use this link right there to visit in minutes. Finally, friends, don't forget the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. 
Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.